welcome to a new video so I'm gonna try and walk six kilometers for seven consecutive days so that's just one week in which I will walk six kilometers every day basically that's not that difficult but I wonder what it will do to my body because so so far in this lockdown I really haven't been exercising or anything like actually I never exercise but yeah I thought why not see him and and check out what it does to me and my health not even like only physical but mentally because I'll be outside for at least an hour every day hey chicky chicky chickies I wonder what things I will come across on my walks so far I've seen sheep hey buddy oh no don't run away Maybe I'll see some other interesting stuff. Who knows? Who knows? I've been walking for maybe like five minutes and I think I'm already lost. Um, don't know what way to go. We'll wing it. the horse and since it rained it's the hairs are sticking to my fingers but it didn't take long to get lost because again I went in like a sideway and now I'm not sure where I am even though I'm pretty sure I've walked here before not lost anymore but that was for sure not the best way to go back home because now I'm walking next to a busy road. Whoops. Rain, rain, rain. I'm almost done with my walk. I've walked seven kilometers so far, which is more than I was planning to do. And um, I can feel it in my legs. Actually, they're kind of tired. So I'm curious if that will get better at the end of this week but that's this was it for um day one day two here we go so you might be wondering why i'm wearing boots uh and so am i because they're actually hurting my feet but the place i'm going to now is actually usually really wet and muddy so I think I'll be needing them. doesn't look so good it looks like it's about to fall down it's making a lot of like cracking noises um, so I'm gonna get out of here before it falls on my head this makes me happy I wore my boots well as we say in Belgium voila day two is done I walked I think exactly six kilometers so that's it for day two. So I don't have that much time today. I had a busy day. I already walked some around a little bit in the garden and in the neighborhood. So I only have four kilometers to do and I'm not really gonna film them, but I'm gonna see how fast I can do it. Okay, let's go. Look at 
look how big the difference is between the clouds here the clouds here also it just started raining again which is weird but i'm i'm gonna look for a rainbow so wow. i'm gonna let you guys know if i see one look this horsey follows me Oh look guys, oh my god, look, oh, there it is, oh, oh, that's nice, that's beautiful, that's, that's a great rainbow, oh, oh, look, another one, oh my god, there's so many rainbows here. Okay, so it took me 65 minutes to walk four and a half kilometers, which is, I guess, faster than I've been doing the previous days. So I don't know, bad I guess, but I did stop to take some videos and I guess that did slow me down a little bit. Okay, see you tomorrow. Hello and welcome to day four. Today with me, my mama. And uh, we're gonna walk four kilometers because I already did two today, so. we wouldn't get lost if I brought my mom but guess what not true she's as bad in finding her way as me I guess and that's it for day four let's go tomorrow Hi guys, there's a new vlog. Be sure to like, subscribe. Uh, we're on day five of, of walking. Uh, this is Amelie. <laughs> Got some chicken. Subscribe and like the chicken as well. <laughs> That was it for the fifth day. Okay, so welcome to day six. I feel like this challenge is awesome for my procrastination side because this side of me is like, yeah, we can go on a walk instead of doing like productive stuff. Hey buddy. I feel like forest gum today because I'm just randomly walking, taking roads and I have no clue where I am, how far I've walked or um, where to go if I'm lost. Found my way back, but I gotta be honest, I had to use Google Maps, yeah. That's it for day six. One more day to go. And welcome to the last day of this challenge. I just went to the store to get some stuff for my family and for my grandparents. And I'm on my way now to bring it to them. So in the store, I got in a couple of steps, like about a kilometer. And I think going to my grandparents and back would be about two. It's funny how the last day I'm doing this, the weather is so great. Like it's 17 degrees Celsius, the sun is shining. There's no clouds in the sky. It's just beautiful. Um, just wanted to say that uh, I brought a bag in case I found trash. Oh, there I see some. It surprises me how much plastic I find that's stuck in the ground. Um, I didn't expect actually that there's that much plastic there. I collected a whole bunch of things, so now it's time to throw them in this public trash can. 
and I hope this way it'll get properly recycled. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. That doesn't end up anywhere green ever again. Okay, so that was it for this video. I can tell you that walking every day at least six kilometers or like 10,000 steps, it does help with making you feel good in your body and it just makes you a little bit happy that you get to go out of the house, get some fresh air. So I can only say that I hope everybody does it and I'm gonna try and walk as much as I can every day or at least a couple days a week because it does feel good to get out the house even if it is just to not have to think about schoolwork for an hour so thank you for watching this video if you want more of this kind of stuff let me know because there's gonna be like an econ economic crisis and stuff so i need something to do <laughs>